a hexagonal a pentagonal pyramid 30 mm edge of base and 65 mm height stands on the HP such that an edge of the base is parallel to the VP and nearer to it. A section plane perpendicular to the VP and inclined at 30 degrees to the HP cuts the pyramid passing through a point on the axis at a height of 35 mm from the base. Draw the isometric view of the truncated pyramid showing the cut surface. Draw the reference line XY and mark VP and HP. Use 2H pencil. Draw the base of the pentagon of side 30 mm with one of its side parallel to and below the XY line using 2H pencil. Since the pyramid is resting on HP with its base side parallel to VP and nearer to it, First, we have to draw the top view of the pentagonal pyramid. Name the corner points of the pentagon drawn with A, B, C, D and E for indicating the base points. Mark the dimension using H pencil. Mark the axis point O by drawing lines from each corner of the base edge to the midpoint of opposite edge using 2H pencil. Thus the top view of the pentagonal pyramid is completed. Then draw the front view of the pyramid by projecting axis point O from the top view to XY line and take axis length 65 mm above the XY line and mark axis line. Also project the base corner points in top view to XY line and connect to apex point using 2H pencil. Name the points for base as A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash and E dash and axis point as O dash using H pencil. Mark the dimension of the axis length with H pencil and complete the front view of the pyramid. Since it is given, the cutting plane is perpendicular to VP and inclined at 30 degrees to HP and 35 mm above the base, draw the cutting plane on the axis in front view 35 mm above the base and also inclined at 30 degrees. The cutting plane should be continuous thick line inside the solid and long chain line outside the solid and thicker at the ends. Then mark the cutting points in sequence for visible slant edges first and hidden slant edges in reverse order and name it as P dash, Q dash, etc. in the corresponding slant edges O dash A dash, O dash B dash, O dash C dash, etc. Then highlight the remaining portion of the solid in front view with thick line using H pencil and the removed portion with thin lines as we have to assume that the portion between the cutting plane and observer is removed. Project the cutting points marked in front view vertically downwards and mark the corresponding points in top view in the corresponding slant edges in sequence and name it as P, Q, etc. It is to be noted that the cutting point Q dash is on the center axis line which cannot be marked directly in top view. So it is extended horizontally to meet the extreme slant edge O dash A dash at M dash and projected downwards to meet OA in top view at M. Take the center point as O and OM as radius. Draw an arc to get Q on OB. Join all the points cutting sequence 
to get the sectional top view or apparent section. Also highlight the remaining portion in top view using H pencil by continuous thick line. Then we have to draw the isometric view of this sectioned pyramid. Enclose the base of pentagon in top view in a rectangle box and name the corners as 1, 2, 3 and 4. Draw horizontal line at any convenient distance and mark point 1 on it. Draw two isometric axes with 30 degree angle from this point. Mark the points 2 and 4 in the isometric axis by taking the distance of side 1, 2, 1, 4 respectively from the top view already drawn. Then draw parallel lines from 2 and 4 to get the intersection point 3. Join all the points to get the rectangle box in isometric view. Then mark all the corner points of the base of the pyramid in the base of the rectangle box drawn in isometric view. Then we have to mark the cutting points in the bottom surface of the rectangle. For that, first we have to draw horizontal and vertical lines from each cutting point in the top view with reference to the box enclosed. Then measure the vertical and horizontal distance with respect to the box in the top view and then mark in the isometric view, that is, on the bottom surface of the box. Mark the intersection point by drawing parallel lines from horizontal and vertical distance point of the cutting point. Do the same procedure to mark the remaining cutting points in the bottom surface of the rectangle drawn in isometric view. Name the cutting points as P, Q, R, etc. Draw a vertical line from each and every cutting point marked in the base of the rectangle in isometric view. The length of the vertical line is to be taken from the vertical distance between the cutting point and the base in the front view. Similarly, mark all the vertical distance from the front view in isometric view and name it as P, Q, R, etc.
join all the marked cutting points by continuous dark line using H pencil. Then join the extreme visible longer vertical edges with dark lines using H pencil. And also join other visible longer edges of the pyramid that lie in front of the isometric axes. Then join the visible base edges of the bottom base with dark lines using H pencil. Hatch the sectioned area by inclined 45 degree lines to show the sectioned surface by 2H pencil and complete the isometric view of the truncated pyramid.